Surprised. Mark, your thoughts? That are, is, are these Republicans who are raising questions about Susan Rice's fitness to possibly move on to the position of Secretary of State, are they, quote, picking on women and minorities? I won't for a minute try to get into the psychology of what the Republicans are thinking. I will just point out, though, that it is an interesting observation, perhaps coincidental, that you look at every one of the boogeymen and boogeymen and women to Republicans, the people that Republican congressmen have chosen to go after in the Obama administration, whether it's Shirley Sherrod, Van Jones, Eric Holder, what's the one thing they have in common? And then we can scratch our heads and wonder whether that's a coincidence or not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll let you I mean, go I, for it, Chris. Chris. What, what, uh, uh, what, uh, honestly, honestly, see, under your rules, here's the problem. The world that you imagine, only straight white males can hold positions of responsibility because if you can't be critical of government officials, if they're female, then you can't have government officials or you're not going to have a government that's accountable. If you can't be critical of, you know, a black president, then you really can't have a black president or you've got to have a government without accountability. And if you guys continue to play this card as uh, uh, honestly that you've been doing all along, uh, then then you can't have okay, Chris, serious let's, let's, adult let's governance. Let's take this off the table. Let's take this off to the. But, wait, wait, but Mark, not, let okay, me ask maybe, you this. Let me ask you this. If sure, you, you really sure. think if they, that if President Obama had sent our Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, out there, who's a white male, right, to deliver these right. exact same no, talking they're, they're points, he wouldn't have been taking well, the same amount of incoming as Susan Rice. No, look, there are legitimate critiques to be made. I'm just saying what, what oh, sort of has, who has emerged as this, you know, Chris wouldn't have mentioned footwear, I'm sure, if it was a male That's instead of Susan it. Rice in, in his screed. Wow. But listen, no, there, there are legitimate critiques to be made about what intelligence Hold on, let me we, finish. Go ahead, Mark. Let me just finish. About what we knew, when we knew it, what our intelligence community had gathered, and the accuracy of that intelligence in the immediate aftermath of what happened in Benghazi. So absolutely should uh, Ambassador Rice be questioned about what she knew and when she knew it, for sure. But first and foremost, we have to remember that what happened in Benghazi was an attack on America, not necessarily a cover-up by America. And so the thing that we should be investigating, the people who we should be holding accountable, are those terrorists with Ansar al-Sharia, who, mm -hmm. you know, murdered our I mean, American I mean, I think ambassador. everybody can agree on that. Everyone can agree on that. Okay, that, that well, we, great. And if that, Senator that Lindsey Graham and Senator... But, the, but there is sure, a question. I mean, what, what these senators seem to be saying, Chris Plant, about Susan Rice is that they feel that they were misled by her. They feel the American people were misled by her. And now today we heard a new strain, which is she, she had an obligation to follow up. I and mean, she was given these talking points, but she also had access to the State Department that knew that this was a terrorist attack from day one. And why, you know, why wouldn't she have pursued that? Or maybe did she pursue that and then ignore the information? Uh, it appears, based on what we're now gleaning more than two months after the event and long after the election has passed, is that Susan Rice was chosen by the White House to be their patsy, to be their fall guy, if you will. How about fall gal? Uh, and, and uh, you know, her race and gender, I assume, had nothing to do with her selection when the White House decided that they were going to have her come out and provide the American people with a bunch of blurry, you know, misinformation, disinformation okay. that made it clear that we weren't going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, the White House hung her go. out to dry. All right. I got to leave it at that, although clearly Mark disagrees it with that point. Good directly to see you both. contradicts the president's comments. But All right. Thanks, Mark, Megan. thank you, Chris.